What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and today we're gonna have another video for the Miata. If you do notice, the Miata is sitting quite nice and I have not been driving it lately just because the last time I was driving it, uh, I did hear like some rattling and I felt the rattling through my foot and through the shifter and some kind of way this popped out from under the car. I don't actually know what this is so I have not been driving it really. But I picked this up out of the middle of the road, and yeah, I don't know what this is. But if y'all know what that is, or I have a clue what that is, then let me know in the comment section. My seat is out the car because last time I was in it, I let Bruce ride in it. I cleaned it out a little bit, but as you can see, there's a lot of dog hair and stuff still in it. But that's not the purpose of today's video. Today's video, we have two long overdue things that we're gonna be installing, and they just happen to be in these boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these boxes and show y'all what's in those and then we can get started with today's project. All right, so what we got in box number one, let me go ahead and open this. And this will be the first of today's installs. And hopefully it is what I think it is. And hopefully it's in good shape because I did buy this used. ourselves another instrument cluster because the one that's in the car the odometer reading is kind of funky and messed up and you cannot read it and so I got one I believe this one has 131 yeah 131,000 miles and I'm about to go ahead and swap this thing out shouldn't take me that long all right so the first thing I want to do to get this thing started is take the top down side two Just from looking at these things, or looking at this, it does look like all I have to do is just pry the little plastic housing off of the instrument cluster. And I don't have to do any unbolting in order to expose the bolts for the instrument cluster. So I'm about to try to pry that off. I have my little handy dandy pry tool right here and see how that works for me. Okay, so I did have a little trouble with this, but just to show y'all the three clips right here on the top, and then there's a clip right here, but this clip also is right beside it. All right, so to get these clips out, the easier way is whenever it's in there, the first thing you're gonna have, wanna have to do is pull this straight forward towards you, and then pull up on it, so these clips won't go back in their respective holes which you can see there are two holes right there. But yeah, that's the easiest way to do it, at least that I found out. But this was baked onto mine because this never came off, I don't believe. So it was kind of, kind of a pain to get off, but I finally got it off. But once you pull these out, you should be able to pull it straight up. And then for those not to go back in the holes, then you can pull it on out. But now I believe all I have to do is loosen these four screws, one, two, three, four. Loosen those and then I should be able to see the wiring behind this to undo it. And just like that, I removed the instrument cluster's wiring, which is these two white clips or wiring pieces and then this black one. And yeah, here's the old cluster. And this is what I was telling y'all about, how my odometer, I mean, look how funky it looks. I couldn't even read anything out of it, but there it is, and I will be throwing that away. I'm not gonna sell that or anything. I'm gonna clean these pieces up, install the new cluster, wherever it is. Oh, it's over here. Install the new cluster, and get the car back together so I can install that piece over there. Bruh, I'm 
very satisfied on how this came out. Just because I did not see an odometer in this car in so long. And let me turn it on for y'all to see. And there it is, the odometer reading right there. 131,351 miles on it. And I could not be more happy with how this came out. Um, now let me just go ahead and stop talking to y'all and go on with the next thing installed. And I'm not even gonna stunt. Like I'm not super excited for this one. Just because this one was messing with my driving a little bit. And y'all probably aren't gonna know just because of that hint. But this is messing with my driving a lot. It's not this. It's not. It's not a fan. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep open. Right. And here it is. Center console. Because every time I went to driving, my other center console would just flop open because it could not bolt down right. It could not latch on because it was broken. I mean, it was poorly taken care of. But now I have a semi-new-ish one, so I'm going to take very good care of this one and hopefully that will never happen again. And plus, I went for the upgrade with the MB2 center console, so I'm stoked to see how this fits. So the reason I'm changing this out is you can see that I already have the window latches or switches out and that's because this I ended up breaking this part right here where the switches actually latched on to so it always like sat up a little bit and every time I would push it down it will slowly come back up and I hated that about this and also this arm is broken like a lot of MB1 Miatas come with this cheap arm that just tears along here the more you open it and close it and most people end up swapping to the mb2 just because it doesn't have this and that's what i decided to do but it's very easy to take out all i have to do is undo these two screws back here and then i have to undo these screws there's one on this side and one on this other side and then of course i'll take the shift knob off and i should be able to pick this thing up and get it out of here One thing I did not think about was this shifter boot. I'm gonna have to swap this out onto the new one. I don't know why I didn't think about that when it's clearly on this one and not on that one. But I'm about to do that real quick and then I'll get it all back in the car. By the way, it only looks like it's held on by these four bolts. And then I believe this little plastic bracket may come off, but I'm not sure. I'll let y'all know after I do it. Alright, so the Miata is coming out quite along, and I like the way it's coming along, actually. I got the interior looking real spiffy with a lot of the OEM parts and stuff, even though this isn't this specific Miata, but it is an OEM part, and everything's OEM looking in here except for the radio. And I also did my speakers, if you haven't checked that video out, you can look at the car right here in the corner of the screen, but yeah. Next thing I have to do with the Miata is clean up the outside of it. But 
I don't know, I might record that for y'all soon. And also I do have a big surprise for y'all that I'm not gonna reveal in this video, but stay tuned to the channel. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might wanna go ahead and subscribe, because like I said, I do have some big plan along with this car and the Genesis that's parked outside right now. So stay tuned for that. But if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below. Let me know anything, like anything at all y'all would wanna see with the Miata. And I might look forward to making a video like that for y'all. But this just about wrapped up today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.